Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another show. So, guys, we like it. The Man United direction of the channel for United and football fans. Man United 0, Newcastle 3, just like it was on Sunday. Another 3 0 thumping at Old Trafford. While you're watching us, smash the like on our video and please smash the subscribe button to help us get to 4K. Thank you very much. But this is another day on a different show, but same score, different day, different players, same result, same shit. This is where United are. Unfortunately, United have been dumped out, astronomically beaten, decimated, de dec decimated, decapitated, obliterated, terminated, and absolutely humiliated again at home, just like we humiliated at home at Manchester City. This was not Manchester City. This was Newcastle, a team that even fielded its players who hadn't even played in over six months. They played a weakened team and brought on the bigger players in when the result was done. You look at United. The lineup wasn't bad. They had, they had, Casimero, they had um they had Dallo, they had Regulon, they had Maguire, they had Lindelof, they had um uh Ganacho starting, they had Hannibal starting, Marshall starting, a different lineup. A lot of the United fans, we thought there is some optimism in this lineup. Unfortunately, same show, different players, absolutely another pitch show. But we look at it from this way. Another 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 problem was this. The defending was absolutely atrocious. You lose a ball, you don't track back. Guy cuts in, and it, it's like you look at the goals United can see. Look at the first goal. Ganacho loses a ball, ball goes cut down. Dalot doesn't check. He sees the guy, doesn't put his body, doesn't cut the ball, falls cut back, and the guy's just right there. By the time he looks over him, it's done. I mean, that is just charred, charred. Childish football defending. I mean, what the fuck? Well, this is Manchester United. Goal number two. We look at the goal number two. Poor header. The, the header from Magal was absolutely... It was just like a balloon header. Straight to the guy. Could the nine have saved it? No. A volley straight to the left guy. Nobody put the button on nine. Game was done. By the time the third goal came in, uh, Ganacho or Mason Mount, no one's checking him. The guy's running right through United like a knife through butter or a, sword, a chainsaw through a mask bar. Right through the middle, takes a shot, and it's game three. Now, United look at they look at it from all angles. They bring in Marsh. Uh, they bring they make some changes. They bring in... Um, who did they bring in? They brought in Rashford. They brought in... Bruno, they brought in Rasmus. Did they make a difference? Absolutely nothing. It's like they were not even there. Rashford, oblivious. Bruno, oblivious. Rasmus, oblivious. The problem is and and Wamba Saka. But the thing here is this. And Amrabat. But the thing here is this. We don't create, we don't score. We can't defend, we can't score. So it looks like these players have literally checked out. But I'm going to say this. If you are a United fan and you are 10 hard out, shame on you. Because end of the day, I'll tell you this, and I'm going to tell you this from a very majestic perspective. We sacked Ten Hag. Who are we getting in? Do you have an answer? Because if you're thinking of Brighton manager or Aston Villa manager, it's not going to happen. We United can't even pay to uh, uh, sack Ten Hag. They can't even pay to get another manager in because that other club has to be compensated and that manager is going to have to get rid of players who United don't get rid of. Then he's going to bring his own players to make us his own stuff. The problem now is we have to stick with Ten Hag and get these players to stop being bloody lazy and fucking clueless. And that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm going to quickly check out, I'm going to quickly give some stats here, which is just absolutely just not good enough. But I'll say this. What? <laughs> it, 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 it's so bad. It's, it's, it's just embarrassing at this point, to be honest. Uh, I, it's funny but it's not funny I'm laughing this is a defence mechanism for me for me to just actually calm myself down because this on all angles is just not good enough the, the, the performance it's like you ask yourself who was a standout player there there was literally none None of the players even even Mason Mount he started the day I saw his energy but I didn't see any apple he took one shot which was saved other than that missing I just could not find if that game had gone on for two more hours, United were still not going to score. They're still, it, it, it's just, I don't know. I, I don't know what these players are doing. It's not the tactics. I don't think they know, they're, they're not buying into what he's selling. It's like I'm a, a salesman selling you this new car. It has all the gadgets, all you need to do is press this three, press four, press five, press this, and the car's going to do. This person getting the car, like, 
Let me say again. Well, uh, I don't know what to press. Uh, what? They're clueless. They are absolutely clueless. But these players, well, they got Marino fired. They got Randy fired. They got Ole fired. They got Van Gaal fired. They got Moyes fired. These players do not give a damn. They do not care. Even the Daily Star broke a report today saying the players are complaining the training, the, the training is too strenuous, that he's, every time he's too strict, that he's, he's breaking up the harmony with the players. So if one of your mates, let's say Billy Big Bollocks, I'm not going to mention names, Billy Big Bollocks was disciplined and he's disciplined for the right reason. The manager has the right to discipline a player. Can you tell me if Jack Grealish was fucking up, Pep is not going to discipline him? Exactly. And Jack Grealish is not going to go type on social media, oh, the manager is a liar. Oh, no, he's done. Why is it when other clubs discipline their players, the players respond? But United players, oh, no. We you come and say, when Ronaldo said this, when Ronaldo said this, that the players can't take criticism, wait, they were saying, Ronaldo, who does he think he is? He's saying the same thing. Ronaldo said this. These players don't like to be criticised. When he tried to tell them, listen, I'm a legend. I play for United. I won trophies. When Rio, Neville, Keane told me how I should do things, I listened. But when he tried to speak to the young players, what did they tell him? Fuck off. This, this is where we are. This is the culture, the toxic culture, the leaks FC, the lazy FC, the non-motivated FC, the lazy FC. That's all these players do is just want managers fired. But if the organization cannot tell the player that, listen, you guys better pull your socks up because this manager is going nowhere. You will be going somewhere before he goes somewhere. It will get, it'll click into the brain like, you know what? I need to get my socks up. Because I'm, I'm not planning to lose my job. Do you think any of these players can do that to Pep? Look at Klopp. Can the players do that to Klopp? Look at when um, Arteta took over Arsenal. He got rid of Aubameyang, a fan's favourite. He got rid of Ozil, a fan's favourite. We can't even get rid of Maguire. We can't get rid of McTominay. But it's a culture. It's a stagnant culture that is killing managers in this club. But yet, we are expecting a miracle. So anyone who is talking about Eric Ten Hag out, you actually need help. Because we can't get him out. We can't fire him. We are done firing managers. Talk about the players not doing what they're asked to do. Do you try, Are you trying to tell me a player, a player doesn't know how to pass straight three passes together? Come on, mate. Give me a bloody, give a dog a bone here. Three passes, United can't shoot. They can't create. They can't score. They can't defend. So what the fuck can they do? Drive Ferraris and Rolls Royces and complain about strict discipline and uh, training is too hard. That's all they do. Just run the map, leak. This, this is an embarrassment. But are you not surprised? I'm, you see, where I'm at now, I'm not disappointed. Am I surprised? No, because they've done this so well. They will get managers fired. They will drop down tools and just keep fucking about. That's all they do. Because the lame, the weak, the inconsistent, the head drop, they don't own the mistake, they lack, they lack accountability, they lack drive, they're just there to pick up a big fat fucking check every fucking Friday. And that's all they bloody do. And that's why this club is where it is. It's gonna not, it's not going to change. No manager's going to come here. There's no manager who's going to change the situation right here. It's got to start from the top. If United, if United do fire Ten Hag, you know who they're bringing in? Darren Fletcher to steady shit to the end of the season. You think Darren Fletcher is going to change the thing? Oh, really, mate? Really? And probably being a uh, pro, Gary Neville, pro, talking and trying to pull this game. Oh, this is the United culture. Mate, these clubs, these players will deceive, play well for the first five games, and start to fuck about again. What I've seen is if Martinez, Veran, Lindelof, no, Veran Martinez. Shaw, Dalo, or Shaw, or Shaw and Wambasaka. If that backline was solid this week, this season, I think we would have stopped some of the goal leaks. The goals are the, it's leaking like a fucking tap, and that's the fucking problem. We could see the three on Saturday, on Sunday against Man City. That's Man City. We come the three today to a team that's not even the first team. How do you figure that one out? 
It's just bad. It's just bad. Players lack awareness, lack accountability, and lack common sense to figure out what to fucking do. But it's all about the manager, the manager, the manager. No. Players need to be held accountable. And these bunch of players are a bunch of lazy fucking gits. Now we're out. Couldn't even defend the title of the trophy one last season. Couldn't even get to the court semifinals. You're out. Oh, this guy's make me sick. But like I said, I really don't give a damn anymore. Um, literally, I've checked out mentally to save my mental state. I, I, I can't be asked with this team. I really just can't be asked. Because these guys will drive you up the bloody wall. And I'm not planning to go up that. Like, I really am not going. I'm not planning. I'm literally not planning that. Let me quickly check something here quickly and see if I could find some information on United Stats today. Because this was painful. It was absolutely disgraceful. Well, you know what I mean? It, 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 it is where we are. We, we are that team. We are just not good enough. We're not good enough. And, you know, you see... I, I looked at a lot of text today. I looked at a lot of information. Get Ted Hart out. Get him out. He's ruined our club. And get who in. No one's told me of any situation or who they're going to bring in. I can't see no su suggestion. The first season Arteta was at United, at Arsenal, he came eighth. Second season, eighth. First season, fifth. Second, obviously, he came second. We came third in our first season. And now you want to sack him after the season and a half? Get real, people. Get bloody real. Patterns of play. We keep talking about this patterns of play, patterns of play, patterns of play. The players got to be held accountable. I think he's lost the players because these players don't know what they're doing. They really don't know what they're doing. And that's the problem. They don't know what they are doing. We are just that bad. <laughs> it is what it is. We are that bad. So I'm going to give the match stats quickly. Look at the match stats. I'll pull it across for you now. It's an absolute nightmare. It's an absolute shit show. But this is Manchester United. And we've lost at home to Newcastle. It's not like we lost away. We lost at home. You know what I mean? That, that's the funny thing. It doesn't matter. Home or away, we're always going to we're gonna get beat. It doesn't matter. If we play home, if we play away, we're still going to get demolished. You see what I mean? That, that, that's the, the pain thing about it. Let's just be not put it. All right, here we go. All right, let's pull up these stats quickly, shall we? So, Man United possession. United has 61% possession. Uh, Newcastle had 38 possession. It doesn't matter what possession you have, it's about utilizing the ball. United had 13 shots on goal. Newcastle had 10. United had two on target. Newcastle had five on target. That's why we scored, they scored five, three goals. United had seven off target. Most of them come from Anthony. Newcastle had two off target. Blocked shots. Corners, United had five corner kicks. Newcastle had two. We can't even score corner kicks. I don't know why we bother to take corner kicks, but we haven't scored a corner kick in more than nine games. It's that bad. Oh, boy. Um, fouls committed, 16. It's really a mess. We've got four yellow cards because we're desperate. We are just bloody desperate. And that's the stats for Manchester United. They're just not good enough. Why are you watching? We're on all the social media platforms. I'm going to be speaking to one of our uh, one of our favorite guests, Louis, a contributor to this channel. We're going to be talking to him very soon in reference to the match reaction. Check out our channel. Watch, see what we talked about. What add your comments? Tell us what you think. And we could we could in, in, engage in a debate. Let's talk. Drop your comments, smash a like. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys on the next one. Man United nil, Newcastle free, just like we did on Sunday, losing at home by three goals. Two games, six goals conceded, and nothing scored. I'll see you on the next one. As United are heading down the wrong way. I'll see you guys on the next one. From me, it's goodbye, good night, on a very sad, pathetic night at Old Trafford.